Alex, welcome to Kidderminster. Pleased to get everything sorted and, and train with the lads. What are you, your initial reflections? No, it's been, it was uh, just been obviously hectic getting it all sorted and whatnot through personal terms or whatever. But then, yeah, getting involved today with the lads and training was good. Like familiar with some of the, the some of the faces playing against them and whatnot. But no, it's been it's been good. A like, good start to time at Kidney now. In terms of the move, it, it's clearly a long-term picture for you, isn't it? In the sense that you can look at the league table and it might raise one or two eyebrows. What's behind the decision for you? I just, for myself and uh, and my family as well, we just knew that uh, full-time football is is what I need and what I'm after. So, getting the opportunity to go back into full-time football is something I wasn't I wasn't going to turn down. But the fact, likewise, that you've been playing in a team that recently has been very successful in terms of momentum and confidence, that will help you? Yeah, like like, I was, like you just said then, I've been playing regularly uh, at Boston, but at the same time, I'd, it's nothing against Boston or anything like that, I enjoyed my time there, but I just I know for myself to get back to where I want, want to be and where I feel as if I deserve to be, I just need to be playing full-time football again to get to get used to what it's like uh, in, the, in the football league. And... Again, with that long-term view, uh, Russ Penn obviously will have spoken to you about his plans for the club, and you're hoping that over the course of the next couple of years you can really find a, a footballing home for yourself here. Yeah, yeah, it's it's looking positive moving forward. I uh, speaking with the gaffer and stuff, and yeah, moving forward, he's got all the right ideas and uh, he's got the right players, and I believe to in order for what what he what what plans he has moving forward. So it's looking good, it's looking positive, and I'm excited to get going. Just in terms of your footballing background, obviously there are your days at Hull, but obviously being born relatively locally, you, you've played a lot of your football in kind of the Midlands area? Yeah, well, after leaving Hull, I, that's, I moved here not on a permanent basis. I was here for a couple of years and yeah, uh, shipped from team to team just to just to try and play men's football and, and get an understanding for what it was like because I was only 18 at the time. But um, the clubs I was at, they gave me the opportunity. It might not have worked out for whatever reasons, but then moving to Nuneaton, my initial big move if you like that was that was positive for me and it I've never really looked back since and is it one of those where for a player who's still relatively young in terms of years but have, have got a number of years experience also under your belt it's time to be at a club where you can rack up 50 100 150 games hopefully somewhere and really sort of bed in as we were saying yeah I'm, I'm at that stage now where consistency is going to be like massively key in, in order to get to where I want to be so yeah it's looking to get as many games in as possible on a regular basis and and then hopefully that can be another step towards uh, getting to into the football league and we've talked two or three times about the long term obviously that that's the aim but still a lot of football to be played this season and, and the chance of at least finishing the season on a high and you just you never know where that might end up do you no the, like there's there's still a good handful of games left and we could build like serious momentum going into the end of the season and giving the fans to, uh, something to finish on on a positive note so uh, I think just coming in with the lads, it's going to be it's going to be good because I've I feel the morale straight away. Um, but looking long term, it, it can it can be a really uh, really good sight setter going into next season. You've played in Boston teams that have beaten Kidderminster twice this season. In terms of positive reflections, but were there times in those games where coming here you, you can see the good of what you're coming into? I've been here a couple of times now when I was at Nuneaton and uh, just like. Um, I, um, Birmingham Cup games are in that area, and it was. And you do feel the the positive vibes from the f uh, from from the fans, and it's and it's not an easy place to come. Which the first occasion we got beat three 0 and it was a strong kiddie side that day. And, and you know this this club's got a big background, and it will always bring bring through good players. So yeah, you can you can see it, it can be intimidating, but also good once you're part of that part of that team. All being well, a debut for you against York on Saturday, a team you've put, come up against recently. Managed to get a victory for Boston that afternoon, but will represent another tough day's work, won't it? Oh, it's, yeah, cause York are a, a tough side to play against, um, home or away. But I feel within this group, we've got every chance, just like we did at Boston, to beat them. And and yeah, let's let's look forward to Saturday. And you're hoping to get off on, on the right foot in the sense that bringing together the things you've already referred to, the atmosphere, the crowd here, hopefully, and all, all will in the world, three points? Yeah, hopefully we can we can get the fans uh, on our side and, and hopefully get the three points and keep us, keep us staying away from the, the drop or whatever. It seems inevitable that we won't drop, but at the same time, yeah, just it, well, at the end of the day, we just need to get keep the morale within the team good and, and take the, the morale onto the pitch and keep moving forward.